Optical lithography is the primary process involved in the fabrication of micro and nanoscale devices in the last few decades. However, existing optical lithography has its own limitations. Firefield optical lithography falls short in achieving high resolution due to the diffraction barrier of light which limits the smallest resolved features to approximately half the wavelength. One of the ways to overcome this is by using electron beams, but this is a very slow and serial process. On the other hand, using near field techniques requires precise nanometric control mechanisms. In the Laboratory for Optical Nanotechnologies at the University of Utah, we are developing a new technique to overcome the diffraction barrier. We call it Absorbent Modulation Optical Lithography, or AMOL for short. In this technique, we use a photochromic molecule that can switch states between two forms. Suppose the two states are A and B. When we shine UV light on A and red light on B, they interchange their states. Also, A is opaque and B is transparent. So on a thin layer of the photochromic material, if we shine a red spot with an optical dark node at its center and place a UV beam on top, the transmitted UV radiation is squeezed to form a nanoscale optical probe at the bottom of the layer. Now if we increase the intensity of the red, the size of the spot can be shrunk further. To do nanolithography, we start by spinning photoresist on a piece of silicon wafer. Next we put a layer of polyvinyl alcohol and a photochromic layer of BTE on top. The sample can now be used to do exposures. The nodes in the red laser beam can be created by a Loewitz mirror setup that generates a standing wave of the red on the BT surface. Next, we create a standing wave of the UV so that its peaks are on top of the red nodes. This allows the UV to penetrate through the photochromic layer and expose the resist. The sample with the exposures can now be developed using conventional techniques. This allows us to create nanoscale features far below the diffraction limit. Another way of creating the nodes in the red laser beam is to employ vortex face plates. When the laser beam passes through these plates, a dark spot is created at its center. We are developing a matrix of these vortices to create an array of dots on the photochromic layer. Combining this with a nanopositioning stage, we can create arbitrary patterns in a swift and parallel manner with feature sizes far below the diffraction limit. AMOL is thus a fast, simple, and inexpensive technique that can open doors to numerous opportunities in the field of optical lithography.